Hello, replay viewers. Welcome. Hi, folks. Welcome. Hey, Gary Bestie. Hugs. Good to see y'all. Thanks for joining. We have a beautiful sunset happening tonight. Hello, hello. Hi, Patrick. Fry guy. I like your name. Hi, everyone. Thanks for inviting followers. Hey, Graham. Hello, everybody. How's it going? We have a gorgeous, peaceful sunset. Mike! Hello, Mike. Oh, Mike left. Hey, Rami. Good to see you. How's it going, folks? So nice and so peaceful. We're just going to have a very chill scope tonight. Hey, Tori. Good to see you. Yeah, exactly, Gary. <laughs> Good to see all of y'all. Thanks for joining. We're going to have a very chill scope tonight. It's not going to be a very long one. Um, because I am tired. And I just feel like being very calm and chill together. And just enjoying the beauty. Hello. Thank y'all for being here. Isn't this gorgeous? So peaceful. Oh my gosh, that is a rather horrible name. I didn't even notice it. I'll try to. I'll try to. Oh, you're a truck driver. Cool. You know, I've always thought that the life of a truck driver could be rather cool because, I mean, you literally get to travel all over the place, don't you? A lot. Some of y'all do, I know. And I've always enjoyed road trips. And it's kind of like one big road trip in your life, right? Pretty cool. Thank you for sharing. Thank everyone that shared and invited. Good to see y'all. Yeah, absolutely. Very cool. Very cool. Ah, oh, this is so nice. Howdy, howdy. Good to see ya. Oh, yeah, I've never watched that show. I've never seen that. Of course, I don't watch TV much at all anymore these days. I'm either in my spare time, I'm either reading... Or I'm on my phone on social media, pretty much. Whether it's Periscope or Twitter or YouTube. I'm on those pretty much constantly on my spare time. Hello there! I remember being in your scope earlier. Good to see you. Thanks for coming and saying hey. Not in Denton. Oh, okay. Patrick, awesome. Great to see you. I enjoyed chatting with you on your scope earlier. Hoarders is disturbing, is it? Like I said, I've never seen it, so I don't know what it's all about. But yeah, see, I'm I, you know, I used to literally, I was so addicted, utterly addicted to television. It was ridiculous, and um, now, like several years ago, you know, it's never, seriously, it's never too late to get into reading. I'm not saying everybody, reading's for everybody. Some people can't stand it. But, um, yeah, I agree, Gary. They need a better name. Um, I won't block you until you, if you start trolling. But, seriously, you ought to think of a better name because people don't need to see that. But, anyways. Um, you know, but seriously, I, I did not used to like reading, but a few years back, I'd say four or five years back, I got into reading, and I'm literally addicted to reading now, like I used to be to television. Well, reading and social media, obviously, because like I said, I'm on here, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Twitter in my spare time, so, you know, those are my two vices, I guess you could say, my two addictions that took over television, and literally, I don't even turn on the television anymore, so... Oh my gosh, seriously? Hold on, y'all. I have something in my glasses. 
Yes, I have my sunglasses on. It's driving me nuts. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. I'm going to get that out of the way. Now, we're good. We're good now. We're good. Isn't this beautiful? So peaceful. So lovely. We have some cloud again with the sunset, so we may get some beautiful colors if we're lucky. Yeah, just sunglasses. <laughs> yep. I do actually own a pair of reading glasses, but I never use them. And I know it's not healthy that I don't use them, but I just don't. I don't use them. Right? <laughs> right, Rami? I mean, literally, that's, you know, besides reading, Periscope took over, you know. I've just recently gone into YouTube, but Periscope took over my entertainment. Because, you know, what's better... Who wants to see some fake show on TV when you can be watching, literally seeing scopes from around the world, seeing stuff in Japan and Hong Kong and Australia and Scotland and, you know, all these places, New York. Oh, I'm so glad you like them. Oh, no, Gary, you wouldn't. No, I look. I don't like the way I look in glasses. No, that's not happening. Sorry. Hey there, Mike. And I thought I saw Ahmed join, but I'm not seeing his picture, which is really weird. But we know the pictures are Perry wonky, as we call it. But there's Ahmed. So, Ahmed, you're here, but I don't see your picture at the bottom, which is strange. I hate when that happens. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I haven't done much on it yet. I'm still waiting for, apparently they're slowly but surely rolling out the ability to, us regular folk, to go live on YouTube. But I don't have the option to go live yet, so I am waiting for that. But in the meantime, I've been uploading a few videos here and there, and a lot of them are my replay uh, replays from here. But... Hopefully you'll enjoy those until we can start going live on there some as well. How you doing, Mike? How's the rehab center going so far? Really, Ahmed? That's weird. That's not good. Oh, is she? See, I don't follow her. So I, I used to follow her, but then she stopped scoping. So I, a while back, I went through and people that didn't really scope anymore, I unfollowed. But Oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. But yes, I do. If you want to check my YouTube, um, I it is in my profile on here, my description on here. So just check that out. And uh, you can click on it and subscribe if you want to. If you don't, that's fine. But it is there. And I am having fun playing around on it just to see what it's like. But, uh... Oh, okay. Has she been scoping much? Or... She's in England, right, still? I know she visits Hong Kong every now and then and scopes from there, but so good to have my friend Ahmed here. Ahmed and Gary, throw some emojis up if y'all would. Oh, Mike, I knew, I know it's got to be so rough. I can't, I can't even fathom, but you know, they, you know, that it sucks that it's got to be painful, but, you know, it is the road to recovery, thank goodness. And, hey, Mandel. Oh, okay, so she's in Hong Kong right now. Okay, that's probably why she came back to scoping for the moment. Isn't that beautiful? So gorgeous. So gorgeous. Sun's kind of behind the clouds, but we're still seeing the glow from it. Marty! There's our dear Marty! And that's another wonderful scoper that needs to put some emojis up. Because he is terrific. Amazing scoper in New York. You should be following. So we have three amazing scopers that I know of in the scope. We have Ahmed in Egypt. Amazing scoper in Egypt. We have Marty in New York. And we have Gary in Glasgow, Scotland, y'all. And he scopes sometimes from Edinburgh which is terrific. So follow these folks. They're terrific scopers. Absolutely terrific. Marty, I, I, have you enjoyed your couple days of days off from Periscope? <laughs> I just saw your tweet. I obviously, I, you probably saw I retweeted it, but so your other viewers would know, because I actually had someone inquire that you were okay earlier. And I said, oh yeah, I'm sure he's fine. He's just taking a couple days, but I did see you're going to be scoping tomorrow, hopefully. So yay. 
Yay! We miss Marty when he's not scoping. Hey, Jen! Good to see you! Isn't it beautiful? So peaceful. So lovely. Thank you, love in my, I love that name, love in my coffee. Oh, Men in Black, I love the Men in Black movies. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, speaking of movies, Gary already knows this, but I had such a drama this morning. I won't go long-winded over this, but basically, I mainly, I do have a DVD player for my TV, but I don't even turn my TV on any. Like, I mean, they're usually sitting at my desk where my computer is, and during the day and stuff. So, I'm always, when I do watch a DVD, I watch it usually on my computer. Well, just, my computer decided to stop playing audio for DVDs. Hey, Cookie, good to see you. My computer decided it was just not going to play audio anymore for DVDs, and I freaked out. I was so like, what is going on? And it took me about an hour, but I went through all these different things. Don't even ask me what I did. I did so many different things, fiddled with so many different things, and finally figured it out for myself and got it fixed. I don't know how, don't even ask, but I got it fixed, and I was so happy and proud of myself that I figured it out, <laughs> so we can watch DVDs again, and I watched um, Friday the 13th Part 1 and 2 today, because I've been hooked on, um, there's a new Friday the 13th video game, actually, that people are playing. Yeah, absolutely, Marty. Now, if you try, I could probably figure it out for you. See, that's the funny thing. Again, I figured it out all on my own because I even tried Googling it and I had no help there, like none. And so I just fiddled around with all these different controls on my computer and programs and stuff and finally got it fixed. So I can figure it out, fix it, but I could never repeat that probably, which is the scary thing, but you know. <laughs> Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, there's this new Friday the 13th game, and I used to be a gamer. Some of y'all don't know this about me, but it's been about two or three years since I've really been into gaming myself, but I've been watching live streams of people playing this game online, and it's made me want to watch the movies today. <laughs> so it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, I was so proud of myself when I figured it out. Oh, there's an emoji movie coming out? I did not know that. Had no idea. That's interesting. Hmm. And I forget the movie's name, but is it going to be, I guess, kind of like that Pac-Man? It was a movie where all the video game characters come to life. I forget what it was called. I didn't even watch it, but I guess it'll be along those lines. Well, hopefully we'll see some of our most beloved, belovedly used emojis on on that movie. Aw, thanks, Ronnie. Aw, how sweet, Jen. Aw, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. Yeah, yeah, I forget the name. Was it, oh, Pixelated, that was the name of it. That was the name of it, Gary, Pixelated. You're right. Thank you, Jen. Um... Hey, Wisdom. Hey, Karen. Oh, Karen, sweetie. Good to see you. Istanbul. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome to Texas. Isn't this gorgeous, folks? Look at that glow. That sky is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to have to look into that, too, and I'm curious. I don't know that I'd actually watch something like that, but I might just out of curiosity. Oh, I do love the Frozen. Yep, I'm a big Disney gal. I do love my Disney movies. You're so welcome, Gris FND. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, but thank you. Thanks to everybody. Any new folks, thank you for being here. Welcome to Texas. Appreciate y'all. Isn't it gorgeous? So lovely. Look at the way that ray is shooting out my way. Coming, saying hello. Absolutely, it really does. I'm very lucky to have these views out here in the country of Texas. Absolutely. Oh yeah, I've been a Disney girl ever since I was a little girl. 
I love Disney. Yes, I do recognize your picture, Sugar Drop. Yes, that, I know there's been issues with notifications. What, Jen? I don't know. That's a bit odd. That's a bit odd. That's funny. Isn't this beautiful? Y'all hear the birds chirping in the distance? Sadly, we don't have any birds like right around here. Look at those clouds. I like those. That's pretty. But I hear some in the distance. To do that. So we're good now. I'm back. Sorry, folks. <laughs> did the connection hold while I was doing that? I guess it did because I see all y'all still commenting and hearts and stuff. But I've never done that. Oh, I love the movie Son in Law. Absolutely. I love that movie. I haven't seen that movie in many, many, many moons. Hey, Pete, Lauren's here. Hey, Lauren. Good to see you, sweetie. Sorry, you must have joined when I was trying to text somebody back while scoping. I've never done that before, but or attempted to do that before, but it's cool that you can. Hey, Pete. Good to see Pete here. Oh, my gosh. Lauren Rose and Pete and Karen. Y'all need to throw some emojis up, please, so people can follow you. Some more wonderful people to follow on here, folks. More wonderful folks. Need to follow the good people on Periscope. Not the junk <laughs> that's out there. Give them a follow. Oh, my gosh. I tried to say folks and people, and I almost said feeple again. I think I've done that before, haven't I, Gary? You'll remember <laughs> oh, Lauren, thank you so much. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Oh, it's the sun is rising in Egypt now. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Sun is setting here and you're getting the sun there. That's terrific. Yeah, people. Y'all are people. Folks and people. <laughs> yeah, they are. The people are back. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's funny. Ah, uh, the sky is just too gorgeous. It is too gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely stunning. Oh, who's playing baseball tonight? See, I, the, I'm not a sports person. I don't watch sports, but the only sport I do kind of like is baseball, and I do love the few times that I have gone to the ball, the ballpark itself, which is so fun. Oh, you're so sweet, Lauren. You are like that, hun. You don't have to strive to be like that at all. You are like that. Absolutely. That's true, right, Gopal? Oh, how funny. How funny. That's why I love Periscope. Seriously, it's, I mean, it's just too incredible for words. It is. Sorry, Lauren. I will cheer your preds for you, but I have no interest in hockey whatsoever, to be honest. Hope we can still be friends. <laughs> uh, no interest whatsoever. And, you know, seriously, though, I'm the kind of person, though, I probably would, like, totally be into it. Again, if I was there, like, at a game, I would so be into it. And same with, you know, football, which I have no interest in in real life, you know, watching on TV. If I was actually there in the stage, just the experience of being at the game and the crowd and the stadiums and the, you know, basketball, too. All that, I would be so into it if I was there and really get into it, but I just cannot get into it sitting in my living room watching it on television. I just can't, you know. I got really into it. Now, baseball, I got super into the a uh, couple years back when the Rangers were going for the World Series, which we screwed up by that putts not catching the ball. Marty, right? <laughs> That's funny. Yep, I guess it does mean that, kind of. Hey, Cheryl, hug, sweetie. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Y'all are too funny. Too funny. Oh, 
The skeeters are coming out, y'all, and I don't like it. I've got mosquito bites all over my legs and stuff from the last couple days. I've got to get some bug spray the next time I'm at the store, which should be tomorrow, hopefully. But, oh, my God, these bugs are driving me nuts. This is why I don't like this time of year. I really, really don't. Me and bugs do not get along. So, aw, thank you, Minna. You're so sweet. Oh, I hope you get to visit Texas someday. It's a beautiful state. Lots to see, lots to do. And Oh no, did the connection drop when I was texting back? Okay, I'm not going to text back anymore if it's going to do that. I thought it was okay the first time I did it, but... Okay, so did, I have a question. Did any of y'all see, because I didn't get really any comments, but one. Did y'all see the post, the photo I posted after my walk last night? Because that was a little freaky. Now, I know... Oh, okay, Lauren got you. Um, I know that that was probably a fish that I took a picture of, but it was literally smack in the middle of the road. Oh, I love it, Ahmed. I love that you do. I love it, love it, love it, my friend. And, uh, but yeah, there was, a, if you haven't seen it, please check it out on my Twitter. It's from last night. I posted the photo and I jokingly said it was a chupacabra, but I know it's got to be a fish probably from the looks of it. But literally, if you look at the tail end, I, I swear it looks like it has a leg on it. Fish do not have legs as far as I know. So that freaked me out a little. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that was a bit weird. It had the head of a fish. It had, like, fins on its back and its, you know, whatever. But it looked like it had a leg bone sticking out. I don't know. It was really strange. Yeah, same as here. Jamie underscore G13 is Twitter for me. But, yeah, that was so weird. I don't know. That was a very mysterious find that I came across. Very mysterious. We don't have much more of the sun. It's just about to set beyond the horizon. Right, Marty? That may be. It might have been. <laughs> my aunt, I sent the picture to my aunt because she's not on social media, but I sent it to her and joked again about it being a chupacabra remains. And, aw, thank you so much, Lauren. I joked with her about it being chup uh, blah, blah, blah. Chup chupacabra remains. And is Sarah here? I don't see her. Is she here? Because Ahmed's here and I don't see his picture either. So if you're here, Sarah, hi. Um, but yeah, um, she said she thinks because it looks like it had the head of a fish and the bottom of a uh, bird or something. She said it must be a dinosaur. <laughs> hey, Mary, good to see you. Mary NYC1 is another fabulous scoper in New York. You should be following. Put some emojis up, please, Mary. So folks can see you and follow you. What the heck was that? I'm hearing a really weird noise. I don't know. Okay. So we're talking about chupacabras and I'm hearing weird noises. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> right, Mendel? <laughs> Yeah, but anyway, check that out and just put a comment. Tell me what you think. If you think it's a chupacabra or if it's an alien like Marty thinks or if it's a. Oh, thank you, Lauren. I will be doing more of those soon. Very soon. This lovely. Well, main crops that we get in this area is cornfields, cotton, um, we get some maize, and we get uh, sunflowers mostly right in this general area is the main crops that you'll come across. So, anyways. But I'm going to leave y'all, I hate to leave y'all, but I'm going to leave y'all with this beautiful scenery while we still got it. I love you all, and I thank you for being here. This was fun. 
but I am going to let y'all go with this gorgeous scene. Yeah, it sounds like a stray cat is out here somewhere going insane. I don't know. But anyways, love you all. Um, we will talk to y'all later. Maybe it's a cat in heat, a stray cat or something. <laughs> they make those noises. But anyway, I love y'all, and we will talk at y'all very, very soon. Hopefully tomorrow. Okay, bye, everybody. Have a good night. Love y'all.